let me show you the detailed features and kind of the um the ores found in this set because on the back of the set this is not the set but shows you the ores in the cave in the dungeon set which I'm not really sure what this is but I know this is gold so let's start so the four the first ore is a coal ore which is right here it's black like in minecraft and you can see all around it's coal ore so I have to say about it next up we have another coal ore it's basically the same thing alright finally a new ore this ore is um serious iron ore which is um it's iron it looks a lot like it does in the game but I mean from first glance if if you wouldn't know what it looks like in the game, you wouldn't know what it is. Because, I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't like, strike, strikingly shout out iron, does it? I mean, it's not gold or anything. Well, iron isn't gold. Or, it doesn't look like iron ore is what I'm trying to... It doesn't look like iron ingots, but it is iron. So, let's get on to the next one. Next up, we have two gold ore. They're basically, um, kind of the iron ore, just they're golden and they're a lot shinier, you know? Shiny. Oh, you can see them in that glare, yeah. They are pretty shiny. Down to the next one. Finally on the ore train, we have redstone. So, redstone is red. It's a stone. So, um... And this is what redstone looks like in the game, so. Alright, that's all for the ores. Alright, so first on the minifigure train, we have the spider. It's kind of dark to see in this light, but that's his face. It's, it's a face molded piece. It's like, especially for the spider, you can see. It's kind of a weird piece, but it's for the spider. So. This is actually the only minifigure I'm going to show off because the other two minifigures are basically the same. It's just the Steve with a diamond pick. No, not a diamond pickaxe. What am I saying? An iron pickaxe and a zombie. So, it isn't really much different. So, Spider has little legs. He has a bunch of little legs that can move around. Up and down and all around like this. Kind of look like little mouths, I guess you could say. Wow. Wow. Alright, now on to the set itself. So the set itself is pretty cool. It has some cool... It doesn't really have any play features, but it's actually kind of cool. Because it makes up for it on its size and all the ores it comes with. So, as you can see right here, wait, you can't really see, because this is blocking it, but, oh, now you can see perfectly. There's a TNT right here, which, I'm not really sure where, why it's there, but it is. And this bucket, is supposed to hold lava, or water, but, those pieces just don't even fit in there. They don't, like, snap or anything, and they always fall out, so, I don't have those in there. Then scrolling over to the so like I said scrolling over to the left I can't see it but there's a chest with let's see what's in there a little piece of little bread sticking out it's pretty cool I like it and I really like how it doesn't shut fully because it's kind of like showing you like a little little bread sticking out I really like how that looks there up on top of here yeah. so then over here are you serious this happened again so going over to here we have a little lot of lava waterfall going down meeting water and making obsidian this um yeah so um let's look at the back So on the back, it's pretty nice. You can see the the um, iron and the 
Coal. Yeah, that's what it is. No, no. It's not coal. Yeah, I think it's coal. I forgot what that was, but I'm pretty sure it's coal. So, we have some little um, stone back here, and you can see torch up there. Yeah, it was hard to see. Like, it just looks like a stick. There's a torch up there. And um, you can see the back of the chest, kind of the back of the whole thing. Oh, okay. So that's about all for that's about wraps up this Lego video. Let's bye bye.